The Democratic Party in a comical chaos after shellacking at the ballot box. And like Joe Biden going up a flight of stairs, they can't figure out how to go forward. Speaking of, the president not taking any blame and claims passing his absurd agenda will solve the country's problems, with Nancy Pelosi hoping to save face so she won't have to buy a new one. Getting the job done, producing results for the American people is always very positive. The more results we can produce in a way that is people understand in their lives, the better it is. I was really very unhappy about not passing the BIF last week, and I thought that that was eloquent, but not enough, I guess. So now we're going to we're going to pass both bills. Mm, and after taking it on the chin, Democrats are desperately trying to spread the blame. You see more finger pointing going on than in an issue of finger pointing weekly. I hope it's a wake up call for all of us. I'm concerned. I've been talking about our debt. I've been talking about inflation. I've been talking about the fallout we may have. This is not a center left or a left country. We are a center, if anything, as a little center right country. I think that the results show the limits of trying to run a fully 100% super moderated campaign that does not excite, speak to, or energize a progressive base. Mm. Meanwhile, Skeletor Lollipop Democrat James Carville is shredding wokeness in his pathetic little party. This is stupid wokeness. Defund the police. Lunacy to take Abraham Lincoln's name off of schools. I mean, that people see that. And it, 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 it's, it's just really a, have a suppressive effect all across the country. The Democrats, some of these people need to go to a woke detox center. <laughs> it's true. We need a woke detox. detox. Oh, boy. Jesse, <laughs> the problem is <laughs> first of all, disavow the Pelosi crack. Oh, stop it. Jesse, <laughs> Senator Manchin says this is a wake up call, but you cannot wake up the woke because they're by definition, woke. they're already <laughs> woke and they believe it's the people like Manchin, the moderates the, oh, and everybody else on the planet who are unconscious. So you can never actually have a wake up call with the woke. Right. That's why it won't happen. And here's where we are right now. The American people are out to dinner and we are starving, but there is nothing on Joe Biden's menu that we can eat. Mm. We're saying, Joe, you got anything for gas prices? No. You have anything for inflation? No. Supply chain? No, we're out of that. But would you like to hear the specials? No. Nah. <laughs> Joe's like, uh, yes, um, we have mandates, climate stuff, roads and bridges, and government-run babysitters. And by the way, that's all going to be late because the kitchen's a little backed up. Mm. That's what's <laughs> happening right now, all right? And now they're saying, you know what? The American people are upset because our agenda is not being passed fast enough. No, 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 no. We don't like your agenda because that's not our agenda. Mm -hmm. Our agenda is, can you make our lives less expensive? Can right. you make it less divisive? Maybe a little more convenient? No, they can't. They're saying we can give you a place to plug in your electric car. No one owns an electric <laughs> car. We don't even want that. I don't want one. So do you know, remember Bill Clinton, 92, he said, what? We're going to end welfare as we know it got elected and went hard left, gays in the military, Hillary care, got rocked in 94 and then pivoted, triangulated, and won re-election by saying the era of big government's over. Who did that? Carville was his top strategist. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because Carville knows how to read a room. Yeah. He, he can see that people like the police. They respect the founders. They don't want to be called racist because they oppose CRT. And right now... AOC is in this little Queens bubble, the Met Gala bubble, the Washington, D.C. social media bubble. She doesn't have a clue what the rest of the country wants. Manchin knows. Manchin can read the room. So Manchin wants to give us what we want, and AOC is not going to let us have it. Mm, Manchin has a lot of rooms to yeah. read. <laughs> yes. You know, speaking of, speaking of division, good, uh, that's the strategy, <laughs> Dana, of the Democrats. The party is like a co-host who buys everyone on the staff pizza merely to point out <laughs> that the other co-host didn't buy the pizza. Like, here I am buying you pizza, but they aren't. When she could have said, why don't all the co-hosts go in and pitch buy the in. pizza? Should I have asked you? Would you like to pitch in? No, no, no. I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> we just wanted to be asked. But is it the... Is it the <laughs> I will admit that note. I didn't write the note. Um... Anyway, but we wanted to congratulate our staff for our amazing ratings. I that think, was the point of all of that. I think division is what is, is now we're tearing you know the what? party about. You know what the Tulsa thing was? What? It didn't cost you anything. <laughs>
Yeah. Right? It's just like this bill. That's right? That is it's true. just like the White House has said, it's going to cost you nothing. That's true. So like, and then you get all the benefit. It's like, it's amazing. That's how it works. I think the Democrats are in a rock, in, uh, in between, between a rock and a hard place. Mm -hmm. Because if they ignore the will of the voters that mm -hmm. have just spoken, then that will be bad for them. Mm -hmm. But if they don't press forward, they will literally have nothing to show their base. Yes. And right. in a midterm election, you, ha you need your base to turn out. So... I can see why somebody like AOC is trying to make this point. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know what? You didn't get enough people to turn out to care about the things that you said you were going to run on. You haven't accomplished that, and that's why we lose. Manchin has a bigger perspective, which is the, like, the health and the well-being of the Democratic Party for generations right. to come. Yeah. Geraldo, yesterday you said it, this wasn't really a big deal, but you're watching the Democrats now. To them, it's a big deal, right? I... Don't think so. <laughs> let me let me let me let me tell me let me tell you. When I was growing up, mm -hmm. the 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 two big parties, Democrat and uh, GOP, had liberals, moderates, and conservatives. All of them, different degrees, different percentages, right. of course. But they were uh, liberal Republicans, moderate uh, Democrats, and so forth. Now they're all r robots. They're clones. They follow in lockstep to whatever the leader says. So then you have Joe Manchin who, like Liz Cheney, is someone who stands up for the, what they believe in. You may not like it, but they are principled people. Strip away the BS. All of this talk, all of this drama, all of this vote tonight, there's no way Joe Manchin is going to vote for Build Back Better. It is no way he's not going to get there. Mm. He, he hates it, and he's been, he's been looking a million ways how to let them down easily because he likes the Democrats. But he is not one. He's not going there. There's not going to be a vote. On, on Build Back Better, and if there is, then he's going to go against it, and I wouldn't be surprised that Kristen Sinema doesn't join him, right. and, and the, they, they're going to lose in the Senate. They may win in the House, but I think that if the Senate doesn't go there, then the House might not either, and this is the audacious ploy was the progressives who said, you can't have infrastructure if we can't have Build Back Better. So they kept it hostage. They kidnapped the bipartisan infrastructure bill that would have given us bridges and tunnels and Wi-Fi and so forth and so on because they wanted to jam that and then they lost. Now, I, I think uh, AOC is, is charming and once in a generation and, uh, you know, but she ain't happening substantive. Mm. <laughs> so to, to Geraldo's point, Judge, the Democrats are electing the Republicans. By, yes. their, by their policies. Well, there's no question yeah. about it. Did you say AOC was charming? <laughs> well, get the, you allow me. I'm a, lat I'm a Latino. I okay, can... well, well, okay. Well, we'll, do, we'll pass that. Look, it's like the cookie jar. Right. The mom says, who took the cookies? She took the cookies. You took the cookies. Everybody took the cookies. Mm -hmm. It's like it's nobody's fault. Right. The truth is, it's all of their fault. Mm -hmm. They lost because, number one, they can't get along with each other. Number two, they're creating this agenda and this ideology that Americans are not high on. Number three, they're creating their own division. And number four, they can't see what they did, so they're going to keep losing. And to your point, yes, they will continue to elect Republicans. And the real issue right now is what has happened with this election. The thing that has happened is it's just not an indication of what's going to happen in 22 and 24 possibly, but they have put together coalitions of different parties who are interested in the issue of schools and children and America and working and people are crossing party lines while the Democrats can't even stay together in lockstep. Pelosi says she's going to get both pills, bills passed. Manchin says not so fast. And then you've got AOC saying, well, way too moderate. I mean, what should we... I can't imagine what she wants to do. But the bottom line is they're not going to get them both passed. Yeah, there you go. Uh, coming up, uh, Jesse and I will be purchasing puppies for every <laughs> member of the five staff. I don't need another dog. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.